Hi everyone, Bob is in the house and tonight is going to be a special edition. Uh, no music today because I have been fully invested in soccer. Uh, right now there's the UEFA Champions League uh, going on, a uh, really important tournament, best tournament pretty much in soccer. And uh, <laughs> I am a fan of FC Barcelona for 12 years and to see what I saw actually yesterday, how Barcelona was <laughs> humiliated. Uh, it was a humiliation against FC Bayern. Uh, we lost 8-2. Not only by one goal, not by two goals, but eight goals. And, um, you know, for those of you who don't really know soccer, 8-2 um, is like when the top team play against weak team, you know, there might be like 4-0, 5-0, you know, like five goals difference, it's, which is still big. But six goal difference, 8-2, like uh, this This is a, the score of humiliation all the time. Like uh, Manchester United Arsenal 8-2 back in the day when it was uh, in 2011. It was like the time, it was the time to change for Arsenal at that time. And then the last two or three days, uh, it was, it happened on August 29, that, that match. And then in two days, Arsenal was like, okay, I, we need to do some transfers. We need to change something. Like it, it cannot happen this way. We are too weak for this season. And they like signed five, six players in two, three days. We, FC Barcelona, I, we have been demanding for a change for a long time now, but not really in, when it comes to players, but when it comes to the management, the president in the first place because back in the day when we used to win everything when we used to be a, like force in european football again i started watching from season 2008 to 2009 uh, this is this was the first season where fc barcelona established themselves as a true uh, powerhouse in uh, european football again we we brought uh, innovation into uh, football back in the day it was like a tiki taka new way of, of playing to which people were not ready at that time and then slowly eventually after a few years uh, teams started to understand how to play against it and uh, you know we started to uh, not win everything <laughs> but th those are the moments to which i'm used to uh, we i'm used to see my club prospering see my club winning uh, and showing great football but for years now we are in this uh, stagnation we are actually uh, decreasing our potential we are uh, we are not FC Barcelona anymore and uh, that happened after when in 2014 the new president came Bartomeu and he just um, started to do everything different anti Barcelona <laughs> we, our values like he spit it on them he um, he just started to change this club entirely into his way of vision and um, He's, he's just another great man because he's also a coward. We've seen this time from times again and like the not logical decisions uh, when it comes to FC Barcelona, when it comes to transfers, we are tired of them. He fired our uh, great Antonio Subasareta who used to deal with uh, transfers and he used to sign great, great players for us and, but he fired him I think it was in 2015 or 2016 Subasareta and then since then, oh boy, like we, we've wasted too much money on the players we don't even need and things like that and now we're here at this point where we uh, are with this age squad and we are only looking at the past dwelling on the past and uh, dreaming wow like how things were great at that time how the squad used to win everything leo messi uh, sergio busquets gerard pk these players though like they they're old at this point and the the, the players we have right now um the 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 main squad the the core of the squad didn't really change uh, throughout the years but soccer moved on from this point we are no, we should not be operating the way we are operating right now at this point because we are clearly seeing that this is not the way to go like we're not in the right direction we need to find a new path new direction adapt to new norms of soccer so and right now if the Bayern showed what it is <laughs> uh, Red Bull Leipzig, Atalanta they're coming up with new ways that are like really competitive for us it's simply too much uh, for FC Barcelona at this point we are in the comfort zone we didn't really evolve throughout this year so what I'm thinking right now what, well what happened was actually okay 8-2 yes humiliating um, humiliating uh, loss and uh, this is not the first time 
this is happening and uh, every time it happens it uh, breaks my heart and uh, breaks uh, FC Barcelona's uh, fans heart and um, we we cannot just witness this anymore this humiliation and uh, it, it's gotta, it gotta stop somewhere last year we thought uh, well the first time it happened against Roma for example when we lost 3-0 uh, and Roma is not even a top team, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that was, um, okay, you know, yes, it was heartbreaking, but it, it happens, you know, things in soccer happen. Second time against Liverpool, now at this point, we, we thought the change needs to happen in the, uh, in the coach. Like, we thought, oh, the coach is bad. Um, like, the second time already, it's just not happening for us. He brought, he is bringing, like, weak mentality, but we fired him. And then it happened again the third time, uh, but now like we're simply we need to blame players at this point. Um, two, we were we were blaming management, we were blaming uh, the the coaches because the squad used to win everything, and we thought with the right management, the, the, the uh, if they will pull the strings right, uh, we will be able to return to the elite of European football. We thought we we're going to become a, a dominant force again. Uh, but you know changes happened uh, when, when it comes to coaches nothing changed so what needs to happen then the core squad we need to sell them we need to uh, refresh them at this point these players are uh, past their prime 33 years old four or five players of them are 33 years old we need to sell uh, them at this point and um, I was so determined to understand what needs to happen uh, so that this will not happen again, these humiliations, and we will go the right direction. That I started, I opened Microsoft Word and I started writing. I, uh, I started to build squads and see what players we have right now, and what who we can sell and who we can who can stay and who can um, uh, maybe transfer as well. Uh, I I um, I don't trust our current management who is still Bartomeu, he still is running uh, this club, he is still president till 2021, we still have one year to wait uh, for a better president um, and he is promising uh, changes right now, he th said like throughout this week and next week we're going to be announcing stuff, uh, things going to be changing, we will be making changes, but I, like he been making changes <laughs> all the time <laughs> since he's uh, coming, you know what I'm saying, but, uh, and look where it got us, I don't trust him at all, uh, but again, like <clears throat> I want, this year, uh, I'm not even expecting anything um like any trophies like that we will be like a great team this this should be year uh, this new upcoming season 2020 2021 season this should be a year where we transition to a new right path at least uh no trophies it's fine we will be losing it's fine but we gotta step into the right direction so um i want this current management since they're leaving at this point anyway in, the, in one year um, I want them to look chill a little bit <laughs> to let newcomers solve this problem newcomers, new president will have a new vision uh, a new way of playing maybe like they, they will uh, manage it but for now, this season, what are we gonna do now? Like because I, I, when, when, I, when we lost A2 I was like, okay, what the fuck are we gonna do now? Like what? What, as a club, how are you even gonna play soccer after this? And this, we cannot really at this point see these players in this shirt. Um, I mean, I'm not gonna <laughs> sell all of them, but again, like um, the core of it should should we should let them go at this point. They, they done great service to this club. I love these players, and it it, it it it's hurt it's hurting me to say that these players are no longer capable of great things anymore but unfortunately it is and they need to um maybe go to mls to go to inter miami maybe uh for example luis suarez uh who've been linked to inter miami beckham wanted to see him um uh, why not like this is a great way you, luis suarez won champions league um before great way to retire and just enjoy miami weather uh, girls beaches everything you know what I'm saying <laughs> then he, he will be happy uh, same goes for um, if we're talking about selling let's talk uh, who I'm who I'm planning to sell if I was 
uh, Bartomeu right now. What would have I done? Let's go to selling people. Uh, Pique, Gerard Pique, um, 33 years old. Again, I, I already said that I love them, and uh, but it's time to go. I'm not going to explain too much why, but Gerard Pique it must be sold at this point. Sergio Roberto is another player. Um, I like him. And he's not that old, he's 28 years old. Potentially, he can still be in the club, for sure. But, um, well, when I was looking at the squad and the defenders, like, we, uh, we, I was looking at Nelson Semedo, who I love, and I want him to stay. Nelson Semedo, um, usually Roberto used to play um, as a substitute for Semedo. Um, he used to play the right uh, defense, but actually, Sergio Roberto is a midfielder. A central midfielder and he played for us as a central midfielder in, in the second half of the season i love sergio roberto i think it will be better for him at this point i just think uh, that we should bring another defender uh right defender to semedo stop torturing sergio roberto to be a defender you know we need to bring new def right defender and um, I'm seeing other players at central midfield. I, I prefer other central midfield players uh, in Barcelona. So I don't really see Roberto in this squad for me. Like it's maybe it's just my taste, but I want him to be in Manchester United, for example, or um, in, in good teams like this. Uh, and Manchester United, uh, I hate Manchester United, but at the same time, uh, I'm seeing their potential. They're uh, doing much better as of now, and I feel like Sergio Roberto might be a really good signing for Man United right now. He will be enjoying his time in Barclays Premier League, uh, I will be happy for him. So that's why I decided to sell Sergio Roberto. Samuel Limtiti is another player who I loved back in 2016, 2017, but uh, his injury problems is just at this point where, like, it's not the first year where um, not only he got injured, but he he's in, he's getting injured but he's also he's not playing well so um i feel like we should let him go and try a new chapter in his life maybe maybe in paris saint germain because he's french um will be great addition to psg again like when i'm letting go these players i love them you know saying uh, and i want them uh, to succeed so i'm <laughs> making them to like good clubs you know saying i think um will be good in psg for example uh so I would like to sell MTT. Uh, Rakitic is just time to go. Uh, Arturo Vidal is 33 years old as well. Uh, again, another player. Well, I don't know actually why we signed him. He's good. Don't get me wrong. I love Arturo Vidal. Again, we are working on um, making this squad younger because <laughs> this squad is aging. This squad is old at this point. We need to like I'm I'm selling most of these players I'm selling they are 32 33 years old at this point so Arthur Vidal just because of the age he, he needs to go um, Sergio Busquets uh, central defender midfielder Sergio Busquets he's been the key player for Barcelona but at this at this point he's just not he's not himself at this point we need to let him go also another uh, player that he's uh, he's past his prime 33 years old Gotta go. Rafinha, the reason he's here because he returned uh, from Celta to Barcelona again. He's he's a good player, but I just don't see him in Barcelona anymore. He's bringing and he's bringing um, like past memories. Uh, like he's bringing someone who is uh, who was in Barcelona's past. I'm I want to see new Barcelona and Rafinha. I just don't associate him with that, and I, that's why I wanted to sell him. Um, not because he's a bad player, or um, but Barcelona him, themselves, they've been getting rid of Rafinha quite often last years. Uh, there's no point of like holding him. Just let the man play for another club where he's where he will be valued properly. Uh, so we should sell Rafinha. Uh, Luis Suarez, as I told you about Inter Miami. Yeah, like um, we just need new striker at this point. Suarez is great. Uh, I love Suarez again, uh, but again. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna want to repeat myself. Luis Suarez, selling as well. Uh, Martin Braithwaite. <laughs> I don't know why he, we even signed him at the first place. Martin Braithwaite needs to go. So when it comes to loans, there were some players I saw. Uh, we have new player Pedri. Uh, he's 17 years old. We signed him. Uh, he's not ready for the main squad yet. I, I I want him to play somewhere else as of now. But and then we will see. 
his potential uh, over there. Uh, Lone Pedri, Lone Juan Miranda, who came back um, from Schalke, I, I believe. I just found another left back players that I would rather see in the club uh, than Miranda as of now. So uh, maybe Lo just Lone Miranda, Lone Miranda as of now, but then we'll see against his potential. Maybe he will be playing well, like Marco Correlia. Uh, I would be, I would have been implementing Marco Correlia. Uh, uh, back in the squad, but the squad, this team, they already sold Marco Correlia, who is doing great in at Hitafe. Um, well, we sold him, unfortunately. But Miranda, you know, he also has potential. So, so far, so as of now, don't sell, just loan. Uh, Mateus Fernandez is another player we, we bought, apparently, youngster. Uh, but I don't see him in the squad as of now. Uh, the, the choice between, I had, is was between Mateus Fernandez and Oriol Busquets and I preferred Oriol Busquets just because he he knows the Barca way uh, and I want to bring Barca DNA back <laughs> and um, the only transfer I want to have at this point because we already done two which is uh, Trincao uh, right midfielder and we bought uh, Miralem Pjanic we sold Arthur who the fuck knows why unfortunate but that's the way it is okay we did these two transfers another last transfer I want to make uh, for SC Barcelona is Lautaro Martinez. Uh, we, we sold too many players, uh, well, in our imaginary world right now, I'm talking about, right? Imagine we sold all these players I was talking about, Pique, Rakic, Vidal, etc. We sold them, we got money. Now, uh, Lautaro Martinez, go for him. We need him. <laughs> we need him. He just, we needed a new striker after Luis Suarez. Lautaro Martinez is only 23 years old. Uh, he's really capable striker and he is working well with Messi as well in Argentina So this is a player will, which will definitely fit to us as well um, It's working on every level That's the only player I want to bring in um, this summer So now, okay, what are the what is the squad then? <laughs> we sold so many players in our imaginary world, right? So who are we gonna be playing with? Well, I'll tell you uh, Back in the day we used to value uh, La Masia, Barcelona's academy. <laughs> we used to bring in players and after players, uh, Pedro, Telio, uh, Messi back in the day, Pique, uh, so many players, Sergio Busquets, so many players, Iniesta, Xavi, Puyol, they used to be in Barca's academy. Um, now, I want to do the same and uh, I, will, I will show you uh, yeah, FCB by my, my drawing, <laughs> but uh, I will show you the squad right now. Uh, it's on the other side. I'll flip it. Uh, I'll show you what I came what I came up with. Okay, let's start with the starting eleven. I, I still want to keep Ter Stegen despite of his uh, flaws back <laughs> in yesterday's match against Bayern Munich, a two. Um, he's still one of the like best goalkeepers in the world. So Ter Stegen is still there. Uh, I love Jordi Alba, even though yes, he's thirty one years old. But he's not that old yet. He still can bring us a couple more years of great football. Uh, and I don't fault Jordi Alba for anything. He always has been great. Um, I love him. He deserves to stay. Let him play. Uh, Clément Lenglet is another player who I have respect. He's been still uh, working hard yesterday uh, and throughout the season. He, he was a really good defender for us. I still want to keep Clément Lenglet. But then we have Ronald Araujo, uh, because we sold PK. I mean, in our imaginary world, we let go of PK. So now I want to have Ronald Araujo because he used to already um, play for Barcelona's main squad and he's been showing some really good football. And Nelson Semedo also another mwah, player. I, I still love Nelson Semedo. He's really great. Um, the reason why the formation is 4-3-3 is because FC Barcelona used to play 4-3-3 all the time. This is our default uh, formation. The reason why I'm only putting 4-3-3 because I don't know what um, the other manager who's gonna come to this club and I don't know who <laughs> wants to come with FC Barcelona right now uh, before 2021. Um, uh, but like, I don't know how he, he's visioning football, how he's gonna uh, play, uh, how he's gonna what formation he's gonna be implementing, I don't know, but that's why I, like, I just went with default 4-3-3. Um, and I had problems before with you know, with transfers like Dembele, who 
is right midfielder, but since Messi is playing there, he had to play left, at left. And then we brought in Coutinho, who we didn't really, we couldn't fit well because he is not really the type of player that plays here, but he is more of a central attacking midfield. Or Griezmann, who is also not really fitting into FC Barcelona's uh, vision of play. So um, I just want, instead of like complicating things, oh, where to fit Coutinho, where to fit Griezmann, instead of complicating things, I want definitive positions like where these players love to play, just play there. <laughs> you know, like Ansu Fati, left winger, okay, play it left. Okay, um, well, we get to him, but Frankie de Jong is a central defender, uh, midfielder, uh, the future of our club, Ricky Push, and Miralem Pjanic because <laughs> uh, I, the dream we had was uh, Ricky Push, Frankie de Jong, and Arthur, but the board decided to sell Arthur, decided to bring in Pjanic, well, we had to play him because he's a new player, okay, you know, fine, and he's a quality player anyway play him, whatever. Ansu Fati at the left, Lautaro Martinez here, and then Messi here. Um, a lot of things will be depending on Messi at this point though. When the new coach will come in, he has to ask a question. Okay, Leo, are you willing to change uh, for the future of this club? Because uh, the, right now we used to, we just, um, did everything what Messi wanted and Messi d doesn't run anymore like that so we don't run as a team we are like stagnant passing team slow team but um, the, the future of this the future of soccer right now is uh, pushing the limits like the, it's all about fitness it's all about running uh, 90 minutes and not getting tired and still being capable of playing well uh, so we need to change that uh, and if Messi says no, uh, I, like, you see Messi, <laughs> I have a poster of Messi, I love this player, he's my favorite player of the world, but uh, he needs to go. If, if the answer is no, he needs to go at this point. But again, as a Barcelona fan, it, it's, it just breaks my concept of living <laughs> uh, Barcelona without Messi, so I, I'm keeping it him as of now. But again, as I'm saying, if the answer is no, then it's no, we need to bring in new player here, okay? But as of now, let's, let's imagine Messi is going to be in this team. Um, so now, uh, well, the reason why I'm bringing youngsters, I want them to practice a lot. I want them to practice and be starting, uh, new starting 11 <laughs> that we're used to, like with PK, Busquets. Now I want them to be starting 11. Um, Araujo and uh, I want these players to also practice next to these players that are already experienced so they can be integrated into the main squad and we have a lot of youngsters here we have Neto, oh, <laughs> no, Neto is not a youngster my bad but Neto is the second goalkeeper we're gonna be having uh, so no changes when it comes to goalkeepers uh, we have Junior Firpo uh, he, we really brought him uh, to this club not that long ago. He still gets to stay. I think he's a good player. Uh, he, but he needs to practice a bit more. Play instead of Alba a little bit more um, this season so he can be maybe implemented in the future instead of Alba uh, all the time. And then we have Jean-Claire Tadibo. I want to see Tadibo. I want to see Chumi getting more practice. Um, yeah, like when Langley is tired, for example, Toribo play instead of Langley, or uh, Chumi play instead of Araujo, etc. Uh, Musabagi, um, another player we used to loan all the time to other clubs, but I think you need to give him a chance because he's a pretty good player, actually. Um, and he will be causing challenge to Nelson Semedo uh, instead of Sergio Roberto. I want to see Oriol Busquets. Uh, the, I think he is related to Sergio Busquets. I want to see Ariel Busquets, who is only 21 years old, uh, to be implemented into the squad. Uh, you know, when Frankie de Jong is injured or something, Busquets, you, he will be playing here. Uh, Carlos Alenia, Carlos Alenia, um, he came back from the loan 
I don't know why we loaned him out in the first place, but uh, he is a great player for us and um, I think he has a bright future in our club. And honestly, I don't mind to see Alenia instead of Pjanic more, <laughs> honestly. Uh, I wish Pjanic was not in the club, to be honest with you. Uh, but Alenia is, uh, yeah, instead of Pjanic, sometimes. Uh, Monchu, Monchu is another good player, another good youngster. Yeah, so now the last attacking third, uh, when Fatih is tired and this guy is finally not injured, this guy can play and this guy is awesome, I like him, but um, he needs to play, but he's always injured unfortunately. Um, so Fatih and Dembele, they, they can cause each other great competition, um, so I feel like it's a good deal. Um, Dembele, yes, he is right wing, but um, he like when he used to um, come out and play he used to come here at the left wing and he still we're doing a good job so um we can still keep using him over here if messi is in the squad if messi is not in the squad we can bring dembele at the right wing and play Fati dembele lautaro martinez um we have antoine Griezmann still and this is also going to be good competition Martinez Griezmann and, I, and uh, this looks good on the paper, but Griezmann is not, is not an ideal striker actually. <laughs> he cannot really function well in this type of form. Um, so again, this is a question for a uh, new manager uh, who will be probably not implementing 4-3-3 anymore. So we'll see how it goes. But again, on the paper, when it comes to the players who I want to see uh, being sold and who I want to see stay, I'm just saying, I'm just showing those players in this formation, if that's okay with you. <laughs> and the last player we have, we brought new player called Trincao uh, from Portugal. Um, I want to see him. Yeah, I want to see him. If uh, Messi gets tired, um, let let Trincao uh, shine. Uh, put Trincao substitute Messi. Uh, and uh, this is not something we uh, you are used to do unfortunately but we need to substitute Messi a little bit more um, so that he will not be tired but yeah these are the changes I think are worth doing in this club uh, bring in youngsters play youngsters give him practice give them practice give them experience and in 2021 when the new president comes then he can do something with these players in his hands maybe he can do something great um, but you know if we see these players practice for a whole year in a professional football uh, that would be something really good um, another year giving this old experienced players who are not really motivated like PK like Busquets giving them another year of playing here uh, doesn't really do anything at this point we need to bring new players uh, we need to bring new blood and um, yeah this is the way I'm seeing it and uh, this is it these are the changes I want to see in FC Barcelona first thing of course <laughs> having a new president but unfortunately it's not coming until 2021 but anyway uh, thank you so much for watching this video hit the like button if you like this video subscribe to this channel um, if you want to see me doing maybe more soccer videos I'm, I'm glad to do because it's my passion as well along with the music if you like music and you're here for the first time for the only soccer you uh, you discovered me because of this video uh, check out my music videos as well uh, they are pretty fun I believe getting your recommendations about music from me and that's it that's the way it goes all right subscribe to this channel again <laughs> and uh, I'll see you guys in the next ones bye